Rapunzel. Read and presented by George Petropagianakis. Once upon a time, there lived a man and his wife, whose fondest wish was to have a child. One day. Dear husband, I think that heaven is going to grant our wish. I am overjoyed. From now on, anything you desire is yours. Later that day. Just look at all that nice rampion which grows in our neighbor's garden. I have heard that rampion makes a delicious salad. That night. You do not look happy, dear. What is the matter? I have been thinking of Rampion all afternoon. I must have some. I will gladly get you some. Is there any at the store? No, but our neighbor has a fine patch of it in her garden. Remember, we saw it this afternoon. But our neighbor is a wicked witch. I do not dare go into her garden. You promised me anything I desired. All right, I will bring some rampion for you from the witch's garden. The husband leaped over the garden wall. He gathered some rampion. I will take this rampion and leave before the witch sees me. But as he started to leave... Stop! How dare you come into my garden and steal my rampion? Please do not be angry with me. I am doing this for my wife. Well, since it is for your wife, you may take the rampion. But there is one condition. What is the condition? When your child is born, you must give it to me. The husband was so frightened that... Yes, yes, anything you wish. But the husband forgot his promise to the witch. When the baby was born, what lovely blonde hair she has! She is the most beautiful baby in the world! No harm shall ever come to her. Suddenly, the witch appeared. I have come for the child. Give her to me. I beg of you, do not take my baby. It is mine. Your husband promised it to me many months ago. It is true. I promised her, our child, in order to get the rampion for you. Oh, how could I have done such a thing? See, your husband confesses his promise. You must give me the child. I will bring her up as my own daughter and call her Rapunzel, which is another name for Rampion. When the witch left... Oh, our poor child! I fear we will never see our daughter again. The witch took Rapunzel to live with her. As Rapunzel grew, her beautiful blonde hair grew also. It grew, and it grew. And it grew. One day, 
today is your 12th birthday. It is time for me to shut you in a tower away from the world. That afternoon, the witch took Rapunzel to a tower in the woods. Climb up the ladder to your new home. Then... I will visit you every morning. Remember, there are no staircases or doors, so you can never leave. When I come to see you, let down your long hair and I will climb up. Then the witch climbed down and destroyed the ladder. The next morning, the witch came to the tower. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. It is the witch. I had better do as she says. Rapunzel let down her hair. When it reached the ground, the witch began to climb. She climbed. And she climbed. And she climbed. Until she finally reached the window. Good morning, Rapunzel. The witch was the only visitor Rapunzel ever had. As time passed, Rapunzel grew so lonely that she tried to comfort herself by singing. One day, a handsome prince came riding through the woods. What a lovely song. I wonder who is singing it. The voice seems to be coming from the top of that tower. But how did the singer get up there? The tower has no door or ladder anywhere. Day after day, the prince returned to hear the beautiful voice. I must find a way to get into the tower and see who sings such sad and lovely songs. Then, one day... Someone is coming. I will hide and see who it is. As the prince watched... Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair! A ladder of golden hair leads to the top of the tower. I will remain hidden until the old woman leaves. Then I too will climb up. And when the witch left... Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. At last I shall see the owner of the lovely voice. He climbed up the ladder of long golden hair. Rapunzel was frightened when she saw him. Who are you? Do not be afraid, lovely Rapunzel. I have longed to see you since I first heard your sweet song. Why are you in this tower? You must be very lonely here. A cruel witch keeps me here, hidden from the world. She is the only person I ever see. I would like to come to visit you every day. May I, Rapunzel? Yes. The prince came to see Rapunzel every evening. And one day. Dear Rapunzel, you are so kind and beautiful. Will you be my wife? Oh yes, 
I will gladly marry you. But first we must find a way to get out of this tower. Every evening I will bring a silken rope. We can make a ladder and escape together to my kingdom. The next evening. Here is the first piece of silk for our ladder. Good. I will work on it every moment I have. The prince brought a piece of silk every evening. The ladder will soon be long enough. And finally. I have been twisting the silk into a ladder all day. One more piece and it will be long enough. Hurrah! Tomorrow we will both leave the tower forever. The next morning, the witch again climbed up to the tower. Then... Why are you so much heavier? to draw up uh, than the prince who comes to visit me. What prince? A prince comes to see me every evening. He wants to marry me and take me to live in his palace. Wicked girl, your prince will never see you again. I will cut off your hair and take you far away. And in a moment. The witch fastened the strands of hair to the window ledge and... She took Rapunzel to a desert. You will have to live here for the rest of your life. Do not leave me here by myself. The cactus will be your companion from now on. The witch returned to the tower and pulled in the hair. Now, I will wait for the prince to come. He will be surprised to see me here instead of Rapunzel. Then... Rapunzel, Rapunzel, Rapunzel let down your hair. Here he is now. I will let down the hair for him. When the prince reached the top of the tower. What are you doing here? Where is Rapunzel? You foolish prince! You will never see Rapunzel again. I will search the world until I find her and make her my bride. As the prince started to climb down. I must stop him! The prince fell, but he landed on soft ground. Then... Oh dear, why did I cut off the hair? Now I can never leave the tower. And the witch had to stay in the tower for the rest of her life. Meanwhile, the prince rode for many days and nights seeking Rapunzel. One evening, the prince came to the desert. There he heard a beautiful song that sounds like Rapunzel's voice. I'll be with you just he rode wildly across the sand. Don't be nervous, Rapunzel, is it you? My prince. I have searched the whole wide world for you. I knew you would find me. Together they rode to the prince's kingdom. 
Hurrah, the prince has returned. Look at the beautiful girl with him. At the palace. Come, Rapunzel. My parents, the king and queen, are waiting to meet you. Then... The wedding will take place tomorrow. Is that too soon? My mother, I wish it were today. And so the wedding was held the very same day and Rapunzel and the prince lived happily ever after. The end. Rapunzel. Read and presented by George Petropagianakis.